Summer Olympics in France, now just 16 days away, and one of America's most famous torchbearers was created by a Frenchman. You may not know his name, but you will definitely recognize his most famous sculpture. Reporter Scott Swan and photojournalist Steve Rhodes explains in tonight's Journey to Paris. Colorful architecture. These half timber houses are very old, very ancient. Charming canals. It's not a joke. Cobblestone streets. A stereotype of all fairy tales. Colmar, France looks like it fell out of a storybook. And this town does have quite a tale to tell. It should be a surprise. We are now here in the court of Bartoldi's house. Bartoldi was born here. Don't recognize his name? Walk around Colmar. His sculptures are everywhere. Many, many words from Bartoldi. Still not ringing a bell? Bartoldi. 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 Take a drive to the entrance of the city. In a commercial zone, in the middle of a roundabout. When you spot a certain lady, you'll know immediately why August Bartholdi is famous. August Bartholdi was the sculptor of the Statue of Liberty in New York, and he was born in Colmar. Welcome to the Bartholdi Museum, the house of August Bartholdi, who was the father of the Statue of Liberty. The Bartholdi Museum documents the life of the French sculptor. From the beginning, Auguste Bartholdi had the idea of creating a monument that would embody values that were shared both by the French and uh, the U.S. Early models give us insight into what Bartholdi imagined. He chose someone with experience building bridges. And this young engineer's name was Gustave Eiffel. The man who would one day create the most famous landmark in France was the engineer who designed the internal structure of the Statue of Liberty. And Bartholdi designed the envelope, the statue itself. Construction took place in Paris. The pieces were then taken apart, shipped to New York, and then reassembled. It's a very nice gift. And we've got a copy of the Statue of Liberty in Colmar as well. But it's not the only one in France. There are at least 35 Lady Liberties scattered across the country, several in Paris. There's the biggest one in Paris is right near the Eiffel Tower. And I think a lot of people are surprised when they go past it and see this replica but they've made seven more. Oliver G. Bonjour, you are listening. Who hosts the Earful Tower podcast has seen the others. In museums, gardens, even a residential building. And the only way that you're ever gonna see it is befriend someone inside, make a delivery there, or pretend that you're a friend or a delivery driver, which is what I did. Americans know the importance of Lady Liberty. And in this part of the Olympic Coast country, his native house is now a small museum. There is pride for the man behind it all. Bartoldi is the creator of this Liberty statue. He's a Lady Liberty standing there proudly, so she's quite a, a friend, almost a relative, you know, like a. <laughs> One last fact, fast fact. The Statue of Liberty represents equality, democracy, and freedom. And her crown spikes represent the oceans and continents. And you can see the Olympic opening ceremony right here on Five on Your Side on July 26th. And you can check out the latest Olympics news and new information about local athletes. All you have to do is text the word Paris to 314-425-5355. Just